This problem and all other data structure problems can be found here at Sarai Studies. Link is in the description box below. The following array has a max heap order. It represents a max priority queue. Show the array contents after inserting 50 into the priority queue. So first of all, I'm just going to convert this into a trait. So how do I do this? I look at the last value, the last key. I go up and look at its index 10. It tells me how many nodes I need. I know this is a binary tree, so I'm going to start with one node. And every node in a binary tree can only have two children. So I just keep adding two children to every node until I get 10. So here I have seven. And then from left to right, I keep adding nodes, eight, nine, and then 10. I like to specify my null links, so nodes whose links do not have children, so this link of this node is null. So is this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. I do that because it helps me when we're inserting, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Then you split your tree into rows or levels, and then you use the levels to start numbering the nodes from left to right. So this is the only node in this first row, so then I move on to the next row because I ran out of nodes. And then again, from left to right, two, three. Then you move on to the next row because you ran out of nodes, four, five, six, seven. Then you move on to the next row because you run out of nodes, eight, nine, and 10. What does this tell you? It tells you that at index one, you already know what you're gonna put in there, 16. This tells you that index two, what you're gonna put in there is 14. Or you can just simply think about it like this. You're just gonna write the numbers in order, but you're just doing by row. And when you run out of nodes in a row, you just move on to the next row from left to right. So I see 16, 14, and 10. I ran out of nodes, so now it's 8, 7, 9, 3, then 2, 4, 1. And then you can see I have everything filled up and I only needed 10 of the indices. But this is the binary heap tree. Before inserting, we wanted to show it when we do insert 15, so how does that work? No matter what type of binary heap tree you're working with, min or max, you're always inserting in the next available spot, which is this one right here. So in this case, we want to insert 15. In other words, now we have another index 11 and we inserted 15 over here. Now the thing is when we are operating on these trees we have to make sure that after every operation we do that the properties of the tree are not violated. This is a max heap tree. So what is the property of a max heap tree? Well max, everything's based on parent, so parent has to always be bigger, max, than both of its children or equal to. If we take a look at this, this is a parent, it's seven. In a max heap, this number is supposed to be bigger than both of its children. It's not, 15 is actually bigger. So we want to have 15 swim to the top until that property is satisfied. So all we have to do is swap 15 and seven. So we swim up until the property is satisfied. What's the property that the parent should be bigger or equal to both of its children. And then we check again, is this parent bigger or equal to both of its children? Yes, 15 is bigger than one and seven. But then we wanna also check the other tree directly connected to this one that we just changed. We ask, is this parent bigger than both of its children? No, it's actually smaller than 15. So 15 needs to go to the top. So we swap again, 15 is swimming up. And then we check again, is this parent bigger than both of its children? Yes, 15 is bigger than eight and 14. But we also want to check the one also connected to it, which is this one. Is this parent bigger than 15 and 10? Yes. So then the property is satisfied that the parent should be bigger or equal to both of its children. And then you're done. You can stop swimming. But it's asking us to show the array contents after doing this. So you have to translate this back into an array. Remember, we never start at zero in binary heap trees. And one is 16. Then index two is 15. So at two, you would put 15. But visually, I just follow the order from left to right of each row. So then 10, then 8, 14, 9, 3, then 2, 4, 1, 7, and that's it. That's your array after inserting 15, and I'll see you in the next video.